Scene one, take one. Welcome back to the Weekly Tea. I'm your host, Jenny, and today we're gonna have a health episode about my experience with celery juice. So I'm sure you guys have been seeing this health craze going on with celery juicing. It's been all over Instagram, a lot of celebrities have been doing it. I've been doing it for a little over a month and I wanna share with you the benefits, the pros and cons, and does this stuff really work? Is this really a miracle plant? You're all miracle plants to me. So I'm a pretty health conscious person myself and it's kind of because I have to be. Personally, I have an autoimmune disorder called Hashimoto's. I've been trying to do everything I can to stay healthy because there's a lot of symptoms that go along with it that could stop you in your daily life, but ain't nobody got time for that. All these people saying that celery juice like transformed their life and that it healed them of like all these chronic illnesses and diseases and skin issues, stomach issues, I mean, you name it. And so I was like, I want in on this. Most of all, the reason why I wanted to try this out was because it flushes out toxins and viruses that could be causing these illnesses in our bodies. Transition. So the instructions are you're supposed to drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and you want to drink about 16 ounces to start with. I've seen a lot of people drinking up to 32 ounces every day. So to get started, all you're going to need is a juicer and a ton of these guys. It takes like more than one of these to make 16 ounces. So when I started, I just borrowed my mom's juicer from like the 1970s when she was like a hippie. But I got a brand new juicer that I've been using and it's like a cold press technology or whatever. I'll just like show you guys it on the screen. But basically for the first couple weeks before I had this new fancy schmancy juicer, I really was only doing maybe 10 ounces, maybe a little bit more than that. They say you're supposed to do 16 ounces in order to get the full benefits, but I actually did start feeling some benefits just from the 10 ounces. And I'll show you guys all of that process, the prep to the juicing, to the cleanup, how you doing? so you guys can see what it takes every morning. I would suggest trying to get the organic celery if you can. Lonely, I miss the lonely. If not, just make sure you wash them really well and you should be okay. The only other cons I could see to this is it does have a little bit of a prep time. You have to wash, you have to clean your, your celery, you gotta make sure they're feeling nice, you gotta you know speak life into them because they're giving you life. So I just washed my celery to make sure they're clean thoroughly. And now it's time for the juicing. So here is the juice. I could have made a little more. And then it's the cleanup. So I'll have to clean out all of yeah. So one of the very first things that I noticed when I started juicing was my energy level. And that is like, ah! <laughs> when you struggle with something like Hashimoto's, it can be exhausting for absolutely no reason. And I need energy, obviously. It feels great to have this the first thing in the morning. It gives me that boost of energy. I wasn't a coffee drinker before thus the weekly tea with Jenny. If I was, I definitely wouldn't need it anymore. And I've read that a lot of people have replaced their coffee with this. The second thing I've noticed is more mental clarity. One of the symptoms of Hashimoto's is brain fog. And that could be really challenging for me because I need to have a clear noggin to do all the work and create things that I'm doing. It helped me a little bit with my acid reflux symptoms or GERD symptoms. Sometimes I still experience it a little bit and I do take other precautions to not experience those symptoms in my diet and certain supplements that I take but I definitely think this guy has been helping with that. A lot of people have shared that it has given them amazing, glowing, flawless skin, and wouldn't we all want that? 
I sure do, but I did not experience that the last month, actually the opposite. And again, I don't know if this is a detox symptom, but over the last month, it has flared up pretty bad. I'm still trying to figure it out and I'm gonna keep going with the celery juicing every day and I'll give you guys an update. And let's hope for that like angelic complexion at the end of this, all right? Another thing people say they have noticed is it completely takes care of bloating. I'll wake up and I'll have abs and then by the night I look like I'm nine months pregnant. Um, don't know why that is, but I am still gonna continue with it and see if it improves. I notice some days it's a little bit better than others. So again, let's guess it could be the detox. I've actually come to like the taste. Some people can't handle it. I don't know what to say. Chug it. Celery juice, scene one, take two. And remember guys, I know as artists, creatives, filmmakers, actors, whatever your profession or career may be, we are always on the go, pushing forward, and this can sometimes be detrimental to our health. So I wanna remind you to make your health a priority so you could be successful in every area of life. I'm gonna do everything I can to stay healthy so I can continue to inspire and motivate and move you all to create as well. Comment below, I would love to hear your stories about your experience with celery juice. Has it given you all of these benefits? Has it given you any benefits? And if you haven't tried it yet, are you willing to give it a try? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching my experience with celery juice. I hope you learned something and enjoyed and maybe it motivated you to take some steps in your health as well. Cheers to health. <laughs>